Let me show you how to knit a heel using the German short rows on a large gauge loom. I'm using the 24 peg loom. You can use any loom. You're gonna take the number of pegs and divide it in half. In my case, it's 12. So I'm gonna start here on peg number one and end with peg 12. We're knitting flat, so back and forth. You're gonna take your number of pegs and you're gonna divide them in three. So in my case, I have four pegs on each edge, which will have the short rows and no short rows in the four middle pegs. So we start with the decrease and first things first, we're going to knit from peg one over to peg 12, which is where we're gonna do our first short row. So I'm using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch and you wanna bring your yarn all the way to the back cause you want it a little loose and knit off peg 12 and now you're gonna take the working yarn and bring it to the front and you'll see a little knot, right? That little knot there, you wanna loosen it up a little bit on the front side and then you're going to go and you're gonna to try to bring that forward, right? So you pull on it a little bit, pull on that working yarn and you see that there's a split right here. You wanna be able to see that as close to the front as possible. So with my hook, you see that I kind of pushed it a little bit and pulled with my working yarn. And I go back with my hook and I try to bring that split as close as I can and then I'm gonna knit off. So I'm on peg 12 and I'm going to knit all my pegs until I get back to peg one. And here on peg one, I'm going to knit off and then I'm gonna work my second short row right here. That knot, remember that knot right there? That's the one you wanna bring over so that it looks like it did on peg 12. You see where you see the split right there? And now keep in mind that I'm knitting with two strands of yarn as one. So it may look a little different if you're only knitting with one strand, okay? Again, you're gonna loosen that little knot on the side and bring the working yarn over. And if you need to help it with your hook, then you know you bring the little knot over. You see how I try to get it as close to the front as I possibly can. And then I take my working yarn and I knit off at the next one. So I now have a short row on peg one and peg 12. And now I'm going to knit my way back. See my split right there? That's what you wanna see on the side. Trying to get it as close to the front as you can. And now, like I said, I'm gonna knit my way back because I need to short row peg 11. So first I knit off the peg and I wanna do this to it. So I'm going to loosen that little knot on the side and bring the working yarn forward and over and try to bring that split just like I did on peg 12. I wanna do the same on peg 11. I wanna bring it as close to the front as I can. So I try to help it with my hook. I pull from behind and bring the knot over. And once I can see that little split, then I'm gonna go ahead and take the working yarn and I'm going to um, knit off the next peg. So I just did a short row on 11. So now I 12 and 11 have short rows and I'm going to knit my way back to peg number two, which is where I need to do my next short row. Now I want you to notice that I've marked the two sides. So I'm using green rubber bands on the right and yellow rubber bands on the left so that you can tell the difference and what side I'm on. Now I did my short row here on peg two and now I need to work my way back, right? Because I did my short row on 12, on 11, and now I need to short row peg 10 right here. So I knit off peg 10, and now I'm going to do my short row on peg 10, and then I'm going to knit my way back. So you see the three short rows that I did? You can actually see them. And now I'm going to knit my way back to peg number 
three. I knit off peg three, I pull on the little knot to help it out, and now I'm going to knit my way back to the latch, last short row on my right side. So you see that those three little um, rubber bands half short rows. This is my last one while I'm decreasing. This is my last sh short row on the right, which is peg nine. And now I'm going to work my way back. I'm going to knit using the U wrap version of the knit stitch. I'm going to work my way back to peg four. I'm going to knit that peg off. I'm going to pull on that little knot and then that was my last short row on the left and you can see the four on each side yellow side and green side and my decreases are then done so I'm going to knit those four pegs that don't have short rows and now I have to go into phase two I've done the decreases four on my right you see that and now I'm going to increase so to increase now I'm going to knit off peg nine right I'm going to knit off that decrease that um, short row and I'm going to knit off the peg next to it which is peg 10 so in this process when I go to um, increase I'm going to knit off the first two pegs the difference is that on peg 10 I'm going to short row and so I'm going to do the same process again just like I did before now 9 no longer has a short row and I'm not going to short row peg 9 I did that on 10 and just like before I'm going to bring that knot over to the front because I'm doing the same thing I've been doing and knit off and now I'm going to work my way back to peg four so I knit off peg four and the peg next to it which is peg five. So here's peg four and I'm doing them as you can see one loop at a time. You can try to do them both together if you're comfortable with that. I find that it doesn't work as well so I knit off one loop at a time and then I'm going to short row that peg which is peg three. Now I'm going to knit my way back to the other side so I knit off this peg and all the pegs that follow that until I get to peg 10 because that's my next short row right I already knit off peg 9 and I'm not going to mess with it I'm just going to knit it off like I'm doing all the other ones that don't have show rows because my aim now is to get to peg 10 and so I'm going to knit off peg 10 and again I'm doing them one at a time you can do them together it's okay um, I just find it harder to do so I'm done I knit off peg 10 and now I'm going to knit the peg next to it which is peg 11 so I knit off that peg one loop at a time and then I need to short row peg 11. So I loosen that little knot on the side. I bring the working yarn over to the front and make sure my knot comes over, even if I have to help it with my hook. And I'm going to knit off the next peg. And now there's only two pegs with short rows and two pegs without. So I'm going to knit my way back and I'm sure you guys know where I'm headed and ignore the fact that that peg came loose. <sighs> it's an old loom and so I'm going to knit my way back now to peg three and I need to knit off my short row 
again one loop at a time and I also need to knit the peg next to peg three which is peg two that gets a knit off which is nice and tight this one for some reason I must have pulled on my um I must have pulled my loop too tight but there I am I knit it off and now I got a short row that that's peg two and it gets a short row again I loosen that little knot I pull on my working yarn and bring the split over to the front as best as I can don't worry if it doesn't come over to the front completely you do the best that you can the more you can pull that knot to the front and the less uh, yarn there is the better so we're going to work our way back to the other side where you have the green loops and I'm sure you know where I'm headed right that's nine here's ten and I need to knit off eleven and of course once I knit off 11, you know that I need to knit off the peg next to it, which is peg number 12. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knit off peg 12. And that one is nice and loose. And then I need to short row peg 12. So just like before, I need to bring that knot over even if I have to help it to get as close to the front as possible. And now I need to knit my way back, right? So I'm going to do that. I did that short row on 12, and now I'm working my way back to, you know, where are my last short rows? I need to go back and knit off peg two that's been knit off and the peg next to it which is peg one I also need to knit and now this will be my last short row on my increases right on peg one and then we're gonna go all the way around and just finish off that row so that's my last short row I'm knitting my way back I bring that knot as close to the front as I possibly can because remember the less of a loop, the smaller that loop is, the less yarn there is and you'll have a tighter stitch. That's why you want to have less yarn. All right, and trying to keep it as loose as possible. And now we're going to head back to our last peg that has a short row which is peg 12. And when you do that, when you knit off peg 12, I gotta tell you something else. So hang with me as we make our way back to peg 12 right here. And see this right here? You can bring it over to the next one. And you can short row it if you want to. I don't, this is my last knit off. And then you can either take one of these bottom loops and bring it over and remount it to the peg next to it. Like some people do that. I'm not. I'm just going to bring my working yarn over and I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to pull on it nice and tight to close that. And that's it. You see there's no holes or anything. It's nice and tight. And then I just, I'm just going to finish my row and make sure that um, my loops are nice. So I just keep knitting them. That's it. That was the last of the short rows. No more short rows. You're done. And your heel is going to look great. That's the end of the row. And you're going to start the next row by knitting off that last short row. And that's it, guys. See, not scary. Easy to do. It gives you a really nice looking um, heel. You're going to be real happy. I, I assure you, you will. And, uh, and you'll be so happy, you'll come back and illuminate with me again on the next project. That's it, see? Now I'm just gonna finish this row like nothing. And look, look inside, look at how nice and clean it looks. And, um, and you have no holes, see that? I love it. All right, guys. 
until next time when you come back to loom with me again bye